Hello everyone, this is SM72, Nick from Too Mad for Gaming, and I'm back with some more SpongeBob SquarePants movie Let's Play. This is gonna be a fun episode because we're actually kicking things up a notch. Patrick is looks frightened as hell. You can just look at him, he's like terrified and he's like look at the way he moves around. <laughs> See I really like how they made this game. It's not just the same animation. They have different um you know uh, feelings of the characters. You can see him running around with this I believe that is when uh, robots were chasing him in Battle for Bikini Bottom. But anyways, we've got enemies to deal with and a new move. Just like that. Remember the um, G Love from uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom? This is the same case. So yeah, they brought that back as well. So a lot of things they brought back, just um, higher variations in my opinion. Slam this. Extra. Excellent. Okay, we destroyed all those boxes and whatnot. Over here. Okay, we're good. Just gonna cruise along here. We're almost at the 7,000 marks. That's cool. Okay, moving along. I do believe we have a new enemy. But first, remember the uh, Thunder Tigis? They also brought that back, except with explosive barrels. Isn't that cool? And just like that, we've reached over 7,000. Wow, look at that. Holy moly. Okay, that was really good. We needed that. And now we're going to upgrade the smash to that. Stun nearby enemies. So now look at it. Boom. You can see the stun uh, effect. The blue red wave sort of thing from it. It's awesome. I love it. You can hit these, but be careful. Oh, the key. Don't be afraid of this guy. This guy's pretty easy. You can reflect one of the rockets and kill him, just like that. So you can hit it, but you gotta back away pretty quickly, so... I do believe these things will fall. Let's stun them real quick. Now you can... Boom. Okay, so that's all that was down here, so don't worry about it too much. Okay, let's see. Ooh, we got something. Oh, goodness. Wow, you can get a lot from that. Dude, they, were, they are so much more generous in this game, I have to say, because look how much more, like, so-called shiny objects we have now. Dude, it's so much better. I'm glad they fixed that. It's so much better to get them. I mean, look at the amount we're getting. It's pretty awesome. Of course, it might not always be that way, but uh, we'll see. Let's blow them up. So yeah, you can hit them, and you can also move away pretty quickly to avoid the blue blast, which is cool. So, um, I do believe, not through there, but if you slam this floor, you get a few things. It's not what I was thinking of. <laughs> okay, slam this button. Slam the buttons as you go along. I think you do have to be quick with it because it will reset. Yeah, see, it's going to go back down, so you got to be careful. Oh, goodness. Let's see if we can... Ow. That won't work. Man, the way they laugh at you is really creepy in this game. Let's 
take care of these guys real quick. Okay. If you slam this floor, the Disco Star task is now open to play. So if you see this thing right here, what is this? You wonder. You wonder what this is going to do. This is what it does. Now we're famous. I mean, look at this. It's pretty awesome. Remember uh, the Murmur Lair? It goes faster, though. It's the same thing, though. And uh, I think the game glitched, because there's supposed to be music that's supposed to play. So let's see. Can I just go back to it? Sometimes it does this, so... Sometimes the game will glitch, unfortunately, so hopefully that'll happen as least as possible, just for my sake. Hopefully it'll actually play the music this time. Let's try it again. Wait for it. Let's not rush it. There we go. Much better. That's what I like to hear. He's still terrified. <laughs> I love it. And no, you cannot get up there, although that would be pretty cool. It moves in diagonals. Oh god! Okay. Yeah, you can't get up there. God damn it. Oh, shit! Okay, that was close. Don't want to die here. Alright, and we've already made it to the next one. My god. This game is so much more better than freaking Mr. Krabs' deal in Battle for Bikini Bottom. And we made it. Alright, so what can we use this for? Can't use it for anything else. We're just gonna get one more health for Patrick. Might as well. Four Krabby Patties. That's all it'll, that's all it'll do. Another Krabby Patty. Yep. Nice. Okay, now if you come down here, defeat the enemies and I do believe something. Nice. Man, look at all that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is insane. Now the game is heating up. Well, I can't even understand what he says. Nice. <laughs> now you want to be careful. I think this thing does sink down. Yeah, so you don't want to fall in there. Come over here and you will find the Combat Arena Challenge. So now you'll see something that we're not supposed to see yet. And you're wondering, who the hell are these guys? That's because they don't expect us to do it yet, which is kind of dumb. Um, but it is what it is. But you can see there's the, the same variant, but you can tell it looks like sort of like a rock bottomy type thing. So you'll see. Doesn't matter what order we do it in, as long as everything gets done. 
you'll see all the character introductions anyway. Or the enemy introductions or whatever. Again, these guys are the same, they're just variants, that's why. They don't expect you to do this yet, for whatever reason. I don't know why, but I already told you guys this before, so it is what it is. Okay. 40. Oh god, I almost fell off. Ow, you freaking ass. Oh, shit. Oh god, I gotta get health. Okay, two left. Just this guy and that guy. Come on. Just die. Alright, this is it. Wave three, 50. This is gonna be bad. This would be kind of terrifying in real life, but dude, look at the color though. I like how it's purple and shit. I mean, look how awesome this is. I love it. Oh, that was amazing. Woohoo! Man, now I'm kicking ass. Oh, damn it, I was one pubic hair off. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now... Jesus, come on. Oh man! It's- it's- it's heating up! I can- Ah! Ever, dude, they're all over the place! I can't even get the right jump on this. Dude, there's so many of those things, dude. I can't even see what's going on right now. Oh, man. Three. Huh. <sighs> man. Absolutely freaking not. Mm. There, it's done. Whew, man. See, so yeah, don't ask me why they put that there. I don't know why, but it is what it is. They just, I don't know why, they just don't expect you to do it. I mean, it's right there. I mean, you know, some players are going to do it, like, you know. It's not, it's not like there's an enemy that you can't defeat without a specific move. I mean, it's not like that, but I don't know what they were thinking, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Ooh. Oh man, he almost barely pulled off the flip. Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, this game is a lot of fun, though. Alright. Nice. Okay, slam this button. Oh! 
Oh god. Have a nice trip. Alright, it doesn't matter, we'll we'll come back for all that stuff, so. Doesn't matter, we'll come back for a bunch of crap anyway. Now you see this watermelon? The throwing fruit uh like that is now open. Patrick may play it once he has been taught the move. So what's interesting in Battle for Bikini Bomb when you first play as Patrick, it's his default move. Uh or just a default. You just basically have the move unlocked, but now we have to actually unlock the move, which is kind of interesting, so. Through here to find a bunch of treasure in here. First, we're gonna take care of this SpongeBall challenge. Are you ready, kids? Set, go. music and this is so good as you can see these get progressively harder damn it Try this again. There we go. That's how it's done. Oh shit! Okay. Let's see if I can make a. No, I'm not risking it. Woo! Yeah, just do that. You can actually move around for a second before it's over. Okay, let's start destroying some stuff here. I'm just gonna smash it. Boom! <laughs> Woo! Destroy, destroy. Beware of the curse. No, don't destroy. Now we can run. He thought he could kill me, but no way. Okay, this is a bit risky. You can go for it if you want. And I did it. How about that? Okay, we have this guy who's gonna try to be a dick. Oh, all right, we're gonna have to take him out with the reflector. Boom, he's dead. And we're safe. Oh god, oh god. Oh 
god, run! Watch your stuff! All right, guys, I think that'll do it. This episode over here is another Sonic Wave Challenge. Of course, we can't do it yet. But in the next episode, guys, we're going to go down this line and see where it leads. And hopefully we'll get the key back. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourselves a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.